How's it going YouTube? DM Tombstone Belts back here again with a brand new video and this video is for the Wrestlemania aftermath for night one and obviously night two will be coming tomorrow and I'll probably be doing it all by myself. You got my buddy Frank here. Yeah. But let's start off with the opening of Wrestlemania. Obviously big first time for Wrestlemania for the fact that over one year it's been about a crowd. Yeah. So now this year they brought the crowd back for night one, 25,000 people, and the opening matchup was the WWE Championship match. And as you've seen from our prediction video, I said it was going to be like a 51% and 49% between Drew McIntyre and Bobby Lashley. I was saying 51% Drew, 49% Lashley, I think, right? Yeah, you did, yeah. I uh, said so it came very close because Drew could have had a chance to break that lock, but he fucked up. Because he got distracted because of stupid MVP. That's but it. then again, he could have broke that lock. He was going to try to look like go for a pin within that lock, but Lashley rolled through and he passed out. So yeah. that that happened. The next okay. match. Yeah, it was okay. Good match. Next one, the tag. I think it was the tag team turmoil match. Yes. I predicted it was going to be Lana and Naomi. I agreed with that. And, it and was. we were wrong. Mm -hmm. But then we made a second thought. I said about Tamina and Natalia. And they won. Yeah. It literally first started with the with Carmella and Billy defeating Lana and Naomi at the opening. Because it was an odd, odd team up that literally was thrown off so yeah. but then they both got handed to them by the riot squad which were dressed up you know pay homage to the suicide squad yes you know riot squad suicide squad where ruby riot came in looking like jared leto's joker and Liv morgan I keep forgetting her name yeah. dressed up looking like harley quinn from the suicide squad yes. they were doing okay until they got beaten by natalia and tamina yeah, that was a close match, too. Yeah, it was. But it was good. Then let's talk about what was the next match. Wasn't it Braun Strowman and... I can pull up the match card. And... Or no, the next matchup was the Tag Team Championship match. That was like a... The Raw Tag Team Championship match. The New Day versus Omos and AJ Styles. I was on Omos and Jay's Dryo side to, to Yeah, win the I was favoring New Day because of the fact of how Omos was making his debut and plus to his first debut at a WrestleMania, you wouldn't think to see much. But I he, underestimated him. And he won the tag titles in East. And he was basically I mean, not to sound racial, but he was basically the African American version of the great Khali. Because yeah. the guy was seven foot three, barely three hundred pounds. And literally ended the matchup with the, almost like a double-handed choke slam like Kali does. Maybe he did. Maybe he did. And did it with the foot over the chest, what Kali usually did. Maybe he was doing, you know, like... A tribute? To Kali. Yeah, because he's better. He's technically is like Great Kali is. Yeah, but he's a little bit better than Great Kali because, you know, they clearly had his good, you know, good run. Uh, he, Kali was a former heavyweight champion. Yeah, it's the only title, right? Or did he win the or did he win the No, other? he won the only world heavyweight title. Wow. But anyway, the, he did a two handed choke slam, put his foot on his chest, and won the matchup for the new day. Yep. So yeah, so give it up to OJ and Omas for winning the raw tag titles. And chances are they said Frank said they may hold the titles for as long not for a very long time. I'm not suspecting longer than a year. I only said a year. Because they'll be they'll or they could break New Day's uh you know. Yeah, hold on. Oh, he said I'm only going oh. if he hosts is it really. Right, we're still, he, uh, is it still recording? Yeah, we're still recording. It's my shirt because I thought I heard I thought it was your phone. It was, my, it was my phone too. And of course they did the Hall of Fame induction ceremony. <clears throat> that was good. Oh, okay. Then we go to the Steel cage match between Braun Strowman and Shane McMahon. That was a good match. Braun Strowman was... <laughs> I was favoring Braun, but I said a case of Shane outsmarting Braun, which many times he came close to doing. Yeah. He just played dumb by sticking his hand in the cage when he was out, to which Braun grabbed him and literally ripped the hole through the cage, 
to pull his ass back into the match. That was the dumbest thing Shane ever did in his And then life. what happened? He, Braun literally picked him up to the top of the cage and threw, and threw his, his ass, ass down. He didn't play. Braun wasn't stupid because, A, the last time he did that, he lost the steel cage match by throwing the person out of the cage onto a announce table. And to some that don't know about that, that was when he was going up against Kevin Owens. Yeah. Luckily, then he did a power slam and defeated Shane McMahon. <clears throat> Good thing, because I hated Shane's guts. Because then yeah, Shane didn't even want Braun to enter the steel cage, because he was holding the cage door to allow Elias and Jackson Riker to hit him with steel chairs. And that didn't even work that much, and, because... No, he, it did not. At that moment, he fucked up. Yep. Next, we have... Oh, yeah. I think the next matchup was Bad Bunny and Damian Priest versus Miz and Morrison. Mm. That match... Was a banger. I'll tell you the truth. Bad Bunny did pretty good for the guy. Say he did most of the fighting in the matchup. That was good. I, I gave him so much credit. I'll give credit to Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny did okay. He did okay. And yet, how the opening started was with people dressed up looking like the fucking Easter Bunny. That was weird. Yeah, and pretty damn stupid, might I say. Cringy. That was cringe. And, they, and of course, Miz and Morse are coming out with the, their hit single, Hey, Hey, Hop, Hop. The Dumb. stupid thing ever I ever heard in my life. Miz and Morse should be slapped in the face. Well, now they're more of a gimmick type of people. They're not even good anymore. No, they're not. They're shit. They need to leave the company. Well, I won't say that much. But they do suck. And they got their ass handed to them by Bad Bunny Dan Priest. Bad Bunny kicked their fucking ass. He literally did look like a... Well, they call it a bunny destroyer, but it looked like an inverted Frankenstein or some shit like yeah. that to Morrison on the outside. And that literally... Hold on, guys, a second, guys. It's morning right now. Yeah, so talking about that matchup, Bad Bunny literally <laughs> took WrestleMania and turned it to Bunny Mania. Yeah, he did a good job. So, hold on one second, guys. There you go. Give him one second. And I believe, what other matches was there other than that? The women's match at the end. Uh, is that it? I thought there was more. Uh, my brain is thinking. I'm trying. No, I think that. Yeah, I think they were right. Because they were doing other stuff related to the matchups. But no one else talk about that. <clears throat> the main event was oh, we just won. Seth Rollins. Oh, Seth Rollins and Cesaro. <laughs> the yeah. one we we didn't mention on our previous prediction videos, which I was saying I was probably thinking that I was saying I was gonna give a lot for <laughs> Seth Rollins. I mean, it was a close one. I'd say it was another one where it's like fifty one forty nine. Yeah, fifty one. I would say more to Cesaro. And 49 to Seth Rollins. And Seth Rollins could have pulled a fast one out of his ass. He could have, but he didn't. He came close to ending him with the stomp. Then got caught Randy Orton style. <laughs> yeah. By literally flying in the air and got caught with the uppercut. And then got swung out of his efforts. And literally looked like he got F5 near the matchup. That's where where literally Cesaro got him on his back and did like a helicopter move. And then when he threw him up, it looked like he got F5. Yeah. That could be a different version of the F5. Oh, the swing. The swing F. They call it the helicopter. So literally, I mean, don't get me wrong. Cesaro, he did pretty good. But I'm thinking, man, that guy has to have a strong head. Because i try that shit. I'd be puking my guts out. Yeah. And the swing. I mean, yeah. That, let's just say, he swung him so damn hard. Seth Rollins didn't even know who the hell he was facing. Yeah. Called him Cassario or something. <laughs> Sorry. Like he couldn't even say his actual name. He was debobulated so bad. Yeah. But I'd say Cesaro came out with the win with a neutralizer. Good match. Good match. His first singles match at WrestleMania, and he won. Yeah, that's good for him. Yeah. He beat a Grand Slam champion. I give him credit. Yes. Then we go to the main event. Bianca Belair versus Sasha 
bags for the SmackDown Women's Championship. That was awesome. Straight up. I give it hands down the fact that two, for the first time ever in the history of WrestleMania, main event being, even for day one, a main event at WrestleMania being two women, and especially two African-American women fighting for a title and the main event at WrestleMania. Still, Still and good. those guys, and those two women literally just blew the roof out that place, even though that place doesn't have a roof. Yeah. They literally, uh, oh. I mean, Bianca Belair was literally giving Sasha the money's worth. Yeah. And near the end, they're obviously with Bianca Belair with her hair, usually gives it her a good advantage, but also a good disadvantage because she easiest thing to grab onto. But she took that hair and but then, But then it turned it around, pulling her hair back, and, and used it as a whip. whip. You literally hear the smack as it made contact to... Sasha's midside. It looked like she. It felt like she got whipped by a belt, and she actually got a welt from that. Yeah. Whatever that hair is made out of, I would think it as a severe weapon. Yes. And then Sasha picks her up. Does looks like some type of what was it like a fu or something? Yeah, some like a, some type of form of aa or slam. Or he was. She could have been doing John Cena's move to bring I don't know. respect to him. Maybe I don't know, but truth be told. Literally, it was a back and forth. Anyone could have won. But in the end, Bianca Belair pulls one right from Sasha and wins her first women's championship, at, especially at WrestleMania. So, I get night one. A good matchup. I'd say best matchup. few matches I was, was thrown off from, but at least we'll see how night two goes, guys. So, Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh, wait, we should even talk about a little bit of what happened. Like, several mishaps. The fact that WrestleMania started with a five-minute delay. Yeah. Because of the oh, weather. Oh, so mention that funny trip thing. Oh, yeah, but due to the weather delay, because there was an outside event, and there was no roof of the arena, it was raining. So the set is a little bit wet. Yeah, so one of the, so, one of the female wrestlers so tripped. When, <laughs> so when, I would say, so when Mandy Rose and... Um, and yeah, yeah, uh, Diane Brooke, uh, Dane, Dana, Dana Brooke. Brooke, Dana Brooke came out. One of them slipped on the stage, <laughs> and then when they and plus two, but that wasn't the only slip up. Yeah, one slip up when they fought the Riot Squad. Riot Squad pinned Dana, Dana Brooke and Mandy Rose, but they but the announcer said that the Riot, Riot Squad, Squad got eliminated. But then they, you hear him say, correction, Mandy Rose and Dana Brooke were eliminated. So, funny mishaps here and there. But it was comedy gold. Yeah. And to think that at first, you hear that on a grand stage, and plus two mishaps with the mic in the beginning with Kevin Owens having a high-pitched whining sound. Yeah. It was because of the weather. Probably. The weather was messing everything up. Well, with Tampa Bay, you know, you could be running through another hurricane. Oh, shit. Oh, but yeah. in the meantime, guys, that was night one. Stick around for soon in the next 24 hours for night two aftermath. I'm de oh, don't forget to like, don't forget to share, don't forget <laughs> to subscribe. Leave your comments below. And as well, follow me. Uh, well, first, follow my boy. Me as Franklin House on YouTube and Lord Freight 1996 on Twitch. As well, follow me on my social media platforms like a Twitter at DM Tombstone 96 and as well on Instagram at DM 96 where usually I may post stuff there before I post stuff on YouTube. And as well, follow our collab channel with Frank and DM <coughs> T on DM Tombstone Belts. See you guys tomorrow for. Night two, and of course, the big reveal of the winner of the contest for the belt. Mm -hmm. See you guys next time. Yep.